So maybe maybe one thing we can talk about is a little bit about what you how you reacted to some of the Western authors, and then we'll talk about like uh, your your reaction to Alexander the Great, which I loved on your, on your video. <laughs> I'm be I'm still being trolled for that Alexander the Great idiot stuff in India. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in India. <laughs> Anyway, about the way… see, the, I mean, uh, you're talking about ideas. So this is something mm -hmm. very hard for Western societies to wrap around, wrap their head around this, the Indian perception, because even Mark uh, Twain uh, went out to say, they are the most incomprehensible people, though they are the most interesting in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is so, happening because… See, in our culture, we don't give any significance to human thought or human ideas because mm -hmm. all our ideas are coming from a limited perception that we have had of some aspect. It is like, it is a million-piece jigsaw, but you find three pieces and you think, oh, this is a buffalo, this is a bear, uh, yeah. it's a wrong perception. So, whatever ideas you have, whatever thought process you have, that is not of any significance in the Indian way of looking at things. The Indian way of looking at things is, is about perceiving reality as it is, beyond your sense perception. Why I am saying beyond your sense perception is because your eyes, your uh, nostrils, your uh, tongue, your t t touch, everything, all the senses are actually cul culturally trained. What kind of smell is pleasant in America? Uh, we think it's not so pleasant out here. What is very, very fragrant and wonderful here, you may think it's too strong or something else. I'm saying the same right. with… with taste probably it's much more visible. Uh, <laughs> in India, the spirit of India is chilly, <laughs> all right? It, without spice, we can't exist. If you eat the spice that we eat, uh, people will think you're suffering corona or something because you will become both uh, uh, runny nose and breathless. <laughs> both will happen to you <laughs> So. The senses are culturally trained, there are genetic aspects, there are other things. Uh, I think uh, you said, Mark Twain said, uh, the nephew of the Saturn were visited. But uh, Saturnism is not a genetic trait <laughs> Satan's uh, nephew need not be a Satan, he could be something else, we don't know what the hell, but he could be something else. So, we don't rely on the senses, so we don't rely on the thought, because all your thought, is a consequence of what you have perceived through your senses. And it is an individual concoction, we may produce permutations and uh, combinations of variety of things in each mind, and we think this is our idea. So we don't look at life as a bunch of ideas, we look at life as a certain there is a fundamental reality, upon that a consequent reality has manifested itself. So the consequent reality, we look at it one way, and the fundamental reality, we look at it another way. So our perception has to become more profound to understand the fundamental reality. And consequent reality, you need a certain one kind of perception. For fundamental reality, you need another kind of perception. So the whole Indian culture is fundamentally not about generating ideas, but sharpening your perception. When I use the word perception, People are generally referring in the Western society, it took me some time to understand this, people are referring to their opinions as perceptions. No, perception is what you perceive. Like you see, this is light, this is darkness, this is your perception. Well, even this can be debated because the… if there is an owl, the bird owl, I think uh, somewhere uh, in the Huck Finn, there is something about yes. the owl <laughs> If I remember right, it's been many, many years since I read this. But, Absolutely. But yes. mm, uh, so, the what is light for you is darkness for him, what is darkness for you is light for him. So even about what is light and darkness, there is a debate in India. Because we see that what we perceive, the way we perceive through sense organs is not absolute, it is only useful for our survival process, but not an instrument of knowing. So our whole focus is on knowing something, not developing my own idea. So it is not about Eastern idea versus Western idea. West has many ideas with which they have created societies which are comfortable for them according to their ideas. But in the East, 
we are not concerned about our ideas, we know our ideas are nothing, they will come up today and tomorrow. The same idea which I thought is very smart when I was eighteen, when I am twenty-five, it looks stupid. What I thought was brilliant when I was twenty-five looks absolutely stupid now. So our ideas are not important for us. For us, how can I, pr you know, bring profoundness to my perception? This is what it is about. That is why it looks so uh, bizarrely different <laughs> Well, it's, uh, you know...